what's shown here is my first iteration in hopefully a long video series. I'm going to be ambitious and say that I want to accurately simulate as many different properties as I possibly can about atoms right here within Unity. That means that I want to eventually simulate all intermolecular forces of atoms, ionic and covalent bonding, subatomic particles, radioactive decay, electron orbitals, formation of molecules, reactions between those different molecules that should react like, for example, any alkali metal and cold water which should explode. I even want to simulate phase changes between different states of matter like freezing, melting, um, sublimation, condensing. Uh, this is going to be a lot of work and take a lot of time and this is going to be a huge learning experience for me and hopefully for anyone watching this. So back to what is showing right here. Uh, this is a very crude simulation of a hydrogen atom. One proton uh, and one electron in its outer shell, which you can see in orbiting around it right there. Uh, this is the simplest element in the periodic table, and this is absolutely not what an electron um, actually looks like in the real world, but I just started using Unity, Unity, and I haven't yet worked out exactly how I'm going to show or simulate electrons. This is just a very simple planet-like orbit that is not representative of real life. All I've done here is made sure the volume and masses are accurate to the real world. So this electron has a mass which is roughly one two thousandth that of a proton and neutron. Uh, and the masses of both neutrons and protons are roughly both one atomic mass unit. I also tried to show the difference in physical size and volume of these two particles. The radius of this proton is about uh, 0.8 femtometers and the electron is one eight hundredth of that. Now the interesting thing about this is that theoretically electrons may not have any physical size at all. All that current science has been able to tell us is, is that um, if it does have a physical and measurable size, it will be less than 10 to the negative 18 meters, which is about 800 times smaller than that of a proton. And that is actually all I have to show for now. So the next thing I want to do is to first get some neutrons and protons sticking together and have this electron orbiting their, um, the center between them. Uh, and then I want to have some... Oh, and beyond that, I'd like to show an accurate simulation of the unpredictable nature of electrons and show how their location probabilities change in the presence of other electrons. Um, that is it for now, actually. So, thank you for watching.